Hey guys, this is David with Mercer Outdoors. I just wanted to take a minute and bring you a video this afternoon. Um, just bring you up to speed with the weekend. We uh, we headed out to Hickory, Lake Hickory, in search for striper, but um, I guess Mother Nature had a better idea. It was threatening rain all day, drizzly, but the backstory is it's rained all week long up above Lenore and in Hickory area and in the mountains. So. When we got there, we were faced with muddy water and floating debris and logs and limbs everywhere. It was literally idle around, dodging all that stuff. So was not very well suited for a productive day of fishing. We, uh, so we searched around and found some cleaner water down on the lower side of Lake Hickory. Uh, and fished a little bit, but we didn't do any good. So. Plan on going back when weather is better and when the water conditions are better, but I still wanted to just bring you guys an update today. Uh, I have had some comments here recently um, regarding some of the, the things I've done to the boat and some of the, the rod holder setups and stuff like that. So I thought I'd take a minute just to uh, brief you guys on, on that stuff in case any, any, any of you are uh, wondering. And I'll, I'll provide some links to where I found the stuff and how I set it up and stuff to my in the description box. So. Without further ado, let's get into some of the stuff about the boat. So primarily, a big portion of the fishing we do is trolling or down rodding. Um, some people like to call it for for stripers. So you know we're gonna we're gonna do anything from drifting and down rodding to pulling planer boards with live bait. And then here recently, um, I've been trying pulling planer pulling. Uh, planer boards um, and utilizing miniature uh, umbrella rigs or a rigs some people call them Alabama rigs and had some success recently doing that so my rod holder setups are pretty versatile um, and I just added some new stuff so I'm gonna take you through uh, item by item the most recent thing I've added are these smackdown catfishing style uh, rod holders that gives you multiple angles and the versatility there and I've mounted mounted them to a, a Trax Tech track and got the slide in base plates that way I can remove them I can add more I can I can move whatever I want I can add more accessories so this Trax Tech track system is pretty cool used them for the first time yesterday pulling planer boards and I really like having the, the planer board rods mid ship instead of at the back I don't know it just you know your boards are controlling your spread so you can really put your rods spread out anywhere you want on your gunnel up and down so that give me freedom to utilize some alternative methods fishing out the back of the boat while at the same time you know I had my spread out uh, with my planer board so that worked out great the uh, I added these when I first got the boat this is a, a rod tree rod holder tree by Cisco fishing systems and I have been nothing but impressed with the build quality the the adaptability and versatility of these and they're just stout as all get out and as you can see they're all fully adjustable You've got a little lever here you can adjust these things anywhere from straight up to 90 degrees down and then you can pull up and I'll just show you here pull up and you can rotate to set your angle wherever you want it so you want that one straight out then you can you know just set it wherever you want I'm doing this all one handed so but that really gives you some versatility and then it's mounted on a gimbal mount as you can see there so I just utilize the the built-in rod holders that my boat came equipped with without having to add anything extra and I could set the gimbal mount at the desired angle if I want to move this whole tree to the front up here where I've got another single rod holder I can that rod holder is a different angle but that's no problem with the gimbal mount system you know I just loosen up those allen bolts and I can reset the tree to the level that I want 
these rod holders work really good for um, really for anything but for the higher speed trolling or just needing somewhere and then then the the benefit I like about this type of system over the they both have their strengths and weaknesses let me just put it that way but these are better the, the smackdown or drift master style there's been a lot of these these are a little bit different than the drift master and I do think they're better a little bit more improved um, they're all good though quite a few different brands that I've seen that are somewhat similar um, but I just I did like the style of these and the color options so if you're interested in something like this see the guys out at Smackdown catfishing and I'll leave a link in the description for them um, but back to the differences and what I like about each the this style I think is better when you're when you're downlining you know if you're fishing live bait you're downlining in deep water let me just get a rod out right here and you'll see what I'm saying you can set this out and you're a little bit greater than zero depending on the diameter of the rod butt you're using um, but you've got anywhere from that and you can you can you can put these things out to the side like that but really it gets it to where your tip is pretty much going to hit the water when you get a when you get a takedown or a bite and that's what you want on these down rods you don't want a lot of angle up but when i'm pulling, pulling planer boards and i want the rod higher i just use the bottom hole there and that gets my rod angle up um very versatile si system and you can put multiple rods in each one of these you can have one in the bottom here and then you can have another one using this top hole and out the side so technically you can put two rods in each holder so those work better for downline but when i'm trolling i kind of like these tubular style uh, rod holders if i'm pulling you know if i'm if i'm trolling two and a half three mile an hour pulling base i mean you can still do that with these back here too so i mean i'm going to use them all for everything but i really like these for storage when you're when you're just cruising down the lake or down the or out in the ocean or wherever you want i can set these straight up load both sides full of rods and you know it, it's it's great for rigging if i just want to stick a rod in there while i'm sitting right here rigging or or, or whatever it's just it's, it's nice to have that option too i don't know that you can go wrong with either setup but but this is what i've got on my boat right now and and so far i've really really enjoyed it and i can't wait to use them more um so that's it if you're interested in anything like this this is cisco fishing system now i ain't gonna lie these are a little pricey but the quality is amazing and they've got plenty of accessories too i mean if you like if you prefer a cradle style rod holder you know more like this they've got custom milled aluminum versions of that you know that that they utilize with their trees and stuff and you can change them out whatever you want to do but i've got one on each side of my boat here at the back and then i've got for now i've just got two of the smackdown uh rod holders i'll probably add at least another one to each side and that'll give me that'll give me three of that style and three of this style on each side of the boat plenty of versatility for what we do and eventually i'll add some more up front but um so that's a wrap on the rod holders um if you guys have any other questions on any of the other gear in the boat you guys just uh just list it in the description and i'll be glad to update you and do a review on it or or just whatever you guys need answer any specific questions so uh i guess while i'm at it i could just finish walking around the boat this is a this is a 221 wellcraft tournament edition and uh it's kind of a hybrid between a bay boat and a and a deep v and and it really does good for the the bigger lakes we fish and then plan on taking it to the coast as well but it's got a really big healthy console which i really like um, plenty of room for my electronics 
running the Simrad NSS Evo 3S 12 inch model. Really, really love Simrad electronics. Uh, there is a flip up bench seat here at the back at, in the boat and uh, got two 35 inch, I mean, uh, 35 gallon live wells in the back, two back corners. Pretty large live wells. I may, I may do some upgrades to one of these. This and on this side over here, I'm probably gonna add some rounded corners to make it keep shad a little bit safer, keep them from getting red nosed. Um, but the filtering and all is great. It's got the aeration built in the nozzle, and then I run a um, also run a, a bubble stone as well. But uh, have had no problems whatsoever with that. Here's the rear seat great place for just chilling or if you need to sit down and rest your feet great type when the family wants to go out and you just need extra places to ride but pretty neat feature oh and got plenty of access to all your bilge area easy access to work on fuel pumps bilge pumps everything really nice feature you don't have to work through a small circular hole Changing out hoses and pumps, which is really nice. So there you have it. Got your rod lockers on both sides. I, I just keep buoys and or uh, bumpers and extra stuff on this side. And place for your cast net storage and life jacket storage a little small bait well here don't really use this for bait but to keep extra drinks and stuff in there um in the, your console it lifts up and you've got crazy amounts of storage in this thing and you can get down in here it's a step down so you see Really gives you good access to everything. So I keep a toolbox and a, a porta potty for the girls when we go out, if, just in case. And I've got house batteries on one side here, and then a single. Well, let's show you this. It's another thing I get questions on. So I got a single 36 volt, 40 amp hour monster lithium battery that runs my trolling motor and let me tell you for the last two weeks straight we have strictly trolled using the trolling motor and like i know last week we were out for over 10 hours straight um started first thing in the morning trolling right at the boat ramp and i pulled us around all day long at one to 1.4 miles an hour this this 22 and a half foot center console boat 36 volt xi5 trolling motor and i pulled us around all day long and battery was still in the green when i got home now part of that i mean of course we were trolling the whole day so we didn't do much running but this power pole charging system that you've seen in one of my other videos keeps your batteries topped off while underway which is awesome so it takes the 12 volt supply from the big motors alternator or generator some people call it and it converts it to a 36 volt charge for the trolling motor it also charges the 12 volt house batteries super smart charging system i highly recommend it uh, really really cool then i got you can see the back of my simrad unit here got my nmea gateway system just everything's super easy to get to in this boat i really really do enjoy it you can keep track of everything monitor all your systems get to your fuses if you need well guys 
I appreciate you guys coming along with me today. Uh, hey, we don't have a lot of fishing uh, footage to show you, but it just, it was a rough day yesterday. We, we enjoyed the day, got to learn a little bit out the lake, and, and went up and visited the, uh, the, Ro the Road Hiss Dam. So a historic dam, it, it's really cool. So I may, I may throw some pictures or some video overlays of some of our footage from yesterday just so you guys can see it. But plan on watching for some footage from there. We're going to go back soon, hopefully, as it starts cooling down. get do a little more striper fishing. So that being said, I'm going to get out of here and let you guys get back to your Sunday afternoons. But I appreciate you appreciate you guys following along if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe hit the like button or the dislike button if you don't like my my videos but uh it really i really do like to see the comments and see what you guys think so uh, appreciate you guys following along so y'all guys have a great day and don't forget i love you and jesus loves you guys have a great one